So you guys, I am rushing. I am driving, rushing to go to the mall. Uh, today, me, Melody, Brittany, and Dominique, we are going um, to all and all, I think, adventures. And what that is, is like we're trapped in a room together for like 50 minutes. And they got different kind of rooms like Alcatraz, Treasure Island, um, Black Ops, you know, Hollywood, stuff like that. We gotta figure out, like Sherlock Holmes is another one. We gotta figure out how to get out the room. So, as usual, I'm running behind. Um, I had to take the kids to Walmart. Uh, Mom wanted a new book called, a comic book called Dog Man. And Mariah, of course she brought all this um, what's that stuff called? Thread, not thread, but uh, stuff to crochet and knit with. Uh, the yarn, she brought yarn and notebooks and pens and yeah. So, anyways, I'm supposed to be at the food court because that's where the all in all is at in the mall, like around now. But um, hopefully, I get to the mall in 10 minutes. Yeah, so I still gotta put on my heels. Yeah, I got some heels that I'm gonna put on. Uh, so I'm just dressed, you know, just got some, some skinny jeans on, a sweater, um, and yeah, I gotta put my heels on to match. So, yeah, so I'm just in a bit of a rush, but yeah, we'll get there in time. We're gonna have fun, you guys, yeah. And they need to fix these rolls. These rolls are horrible. Potholes here, potholes that, you know, horrible is a hot mess. So you guys, I made it. Brittany and Dominique went to go to the bathroom and I'm not the only one late Melanie and her sister they're running late too so yeah anyways we're here um, I guess all the rooms are like back here but this is called all in all adventures and yeah I'm excited I'll show you some more footage once we get inside yeah I'm gonna say it's not the highest point, but its location give you a good view of the next coop. So what would be what would you have a good view of if I were on Blunder Rock? But is any of that on any of these maps that we're looking at? <laughs> what is that? Is that open one? So the number of stores are is that for us? Uh, or? Maybe it's for another level. Uh, one, two, three. And well, how, how would you get open? Would it be a key? Only do the thing that's on the top? Or? That's a question. But that ain't we got that one. She said we already have to know. We're ready to stop now. <laughs> no, we're not. They said never. So we are in uh, Red Lobster. <laughs> so this is Melody. Hi. Yeah. I've been following the vlogs from the beginning. You know, we went to the mountains last year. Yeah. And my car got stuck on the mountains. So yeah. <laughs> and I had to call them. I had to call. Well, I ain't going to put Britain on the camera. But yeah. So that's Dominique. Hi. Yes. Y'all see her in August. Yeah. Next weekend. We'll see her next weekend. Yes. Yeah. Y'all saw her before. She, she was on the vlog before. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Carter, beautiful a family, and that's Alicia. Yes. That's Melody's older sister. Yes, like twin. <laughs> All right. All right. She's looking at me. So we just had like some biscuits and yeah, red lobster biscuits. They're good. They're gone. Yeah, they're gone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're good. If I could learn how to make them. <laughs> I eat a salad almost every day. That's good. Today was really, really fun. Um, I'm just headed back to the house. And uh, yeah, I feel kind of bad, you guys, because I got to go home and cook dinner. <laughs> and I thought this went out to eat at Red Lobster. Yeah. So yeah, I'm going to go cook dinner for everybody else. So yeah. But I should go pick up something. But I'm just like, I don't pass all the stores. But I'm going to run home really really quickly and check on everybody then I'll probably run back out and probably pick up something quick or something I don't know team yeah 
What's up, team? So, just got home, picking up the kids. Rainy day, rainy, rainy day, lazy day. Stopped by the peel box, and I got something from one of my pastor friends, Pastor Kevin. Um, I'll give you a shout out. Awesome man of God. Support him. He wrote a book called Faith to Obey God. Um, and he always supports the ministry. So support him. It's a powerful, awesome book. Published by Rejoice Central Publishing, our publishing company. Yeah, so. Yeah, this is really nice. He wrote his little sticky note on the uh, shirt. Yeah. So, yellow. Yellow stands for the glory of God, right? Yeah. Oh, this is nice. Isn't this nice, y'all? It's really nice. Let's look at the back. It says, isn't that how you start? And it has like the tortoise and the hair in front. And this is how you finish. But it's how you end up. Ecclesiastes 7, 8. And on the back it has the finish. So it's really nice. So he gave me a shirt. And he gave Babe a shirt. Yeah. And it's really nice. Really, really, really nice. So yeah, God is good. So anyways, team, I'm getting ready to um, clean up, cook dinner. And I am corn rolling Mariah's hair, doing it in layers, and it's taking forever. I feel like I got a thousand things to do. I want to get on Periscope. I want to pray and prophesy, but I just, I don't know if time will allow me because I got so much to do. Uh, I got a new client today, so I give God praise. Going to work on that contract, send it over, and um, start this book ASAP because he wants his book done in like maybe a month, like a few weeks because he has a, a singles conference. So, it's time to grind, um, get this book done for him. Uh, of course, you guys, I got several new books coming out, but you'll see that soon. So, yeah, keep on following so you see the books, and they are life-changing. I've been actually writing over the last couple of days because I've been kind of slacking on my writing. But um, I've been just been writing and I'm working on the magazine as well. So, for you guys, uh, I want you to send me and base some questions because... The magazine anniversary is the April. In April, it's, it's, it's going to be three years since we had Rejoice Essential Magazine. And it, it was birthed through worship. I was just worshiping the Lord one day and I saw the magazine in, in the spirit realm. Oh, okay, God, I know you don't want me to do no magazine. And then uh, God sent a prophet to confirm that dream that I saw. So I knew I had to do the magazine. So I stepped out on faith, you guys. I had no training, but God sent people to help with the vision so yeah it's three years so i'm excited so send me and bay questions um that you would like to ask us yeah i want you guys when you submit your questions email. to our email tmosesblogs at gmail.com put like your your state that you live in or your ministry or your business name don't just you know submitted a question put like you know where you're from so we can shout you out in the magazine and that issue comes out april the first so yeah in that very hour because he said it amen he said it you know your words has weight do you know that your words have power and authority do you know that saints come on now it's about the supernatural light hallelujah when, when, when Apostle Paul, uh, Peter, his shadow, his shadow healed the sick. Come on now, somebody. That you're, that you're so anointed. That you got the glory of God upon your life. That everything you touch, handkerchiefs. You know, is, people are bound to be healed. Come on now. That's why demons run and, and flee at the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray over your grandmother to be healed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You know, Elijah, this mighty prophet. Pray down fire from heaven. Come on, as believers, when that hurricane is coming to our region, we can speak. What's up, team? I'm hungry like three people. I'm hungry enough to eat this team. I know y'all remember that. I know y'all remember that. When I put that whipping on her. Pray, give up. You ain't eat as much as me. Hey, okay, give up. Little people gonna take their time to eat. <laughs> I'm taking my time now. Hey, give up, please. No, you drink a lot. <laughs> hey, give up. 
No, I'm gonna sit here. Wait, did you just talking? You ain't eating. You talking? <laughs> My lips on fire. <laughs> Baby, <get up. laughs> yeah, my lips are on fire. Oh my god. Oh. Why did I suck the noodles like that? Because it's like my lips are on fire. Like, oh my god, I'm sorry. Well, for those of you who wasn't part of the team then, go back and watch that. Where I put that whipping on my wine. I'm making me some soup. What I'm doing is I'm taking some, some beef cubes and putting it in there because I only like beef soup, but this chicken, this chicken, I ain't, I'm not making that. Right I'm, not making this. I'm making top ramen. I'm taking these beef cubes, putting that in there. Gotta do what you gotta do sometimes, right? I'd rather have a spicy Italian sub. Not from Subway. I don't know some good Subways out there, but where I used to live at, that Subway, that. Ooh, that Never mind, some of them might watch this. But oh, that's all right, they ain't serving me no more. That subway was nasty. We was thinking about doing start over. Anyway, team, Punkin and I was thinking about doing Monday to Wednesday instead of Monday through Friday on the vlogs because we ain't really doing nothing. We don't want y'all to get bored with us. No? I want y'all to be happy to see us, you know? But some people don't come by your house all the time and they come by once in the blue moon. You see them, you happy to see them. But you don't have that same excitement for the person you see every day. Like, man, you need to go home sometime. Anyway, we might do that, we might. I, I wanna do it. to get the mail. You know you're in the country, but you gotta go across the road to get your Got a package in here. Can't see who, who it's for. I used to love to see packages from, is that a rabbit? Oh no, that ain't a rabbit. I ain't got my glasses on too. Yeah, I used to love to get packages. I used to love to see UPS come. One time I used to have UPS come to my house twice a week when I was single. Yeah, I can't do that no more. But. What's up, team? Um, I know I was a hot mess. Uh, sitting on the computer, um, getting some work done. Um, I have a relationship book coming out. It's not mine, this is Pastor in Missouri. So I'm working on his book. Um, trying to get all 15 chapters done today, um, but I just got one of my new client books it's called The Wrong Relationship by Sharon Blue, and she's like one of my favorite students, one of my favorite mentees, Arya. 
Uh, I love this woman of God, but anyways, get her book, The Wrong Relationship, and that's my sharing, yeah. So, I'm really proud of her. This is her first book, you guys, and uh, she didn't think she could write a book, but she got connected with me in April of last year, and when I had my first write it webinar and I was telling people teaching them how to write their book and she got with me and I pushed her I stretched her she wrote about three chapters and then the devil stepped in and her computer crashed but thanks be to God God said she had to finish the book so uh, she got blessed with a brand new laptop she didn't have to buy it and she finished the book and when she sat down on the computer to write the book she ended up writing the same thing she wrote a year before so yeah this book was ordained by God so keep the book it's available on Amazon Barnes and Nobles iBooks yeah so I'm excited um, <clears throat> I'm gonna go to the li um, I'm gonna mail this off to the Library of Congress and ship her a copy I'm sleepy it is 1 23 p.m. it's too early to be going to sleep Cause then I'll be up all night, and I don't want to be up all night, babe. Come here, come here. And I don't want to be up all night. I ain't comb my hair today, you guys. I just woke up. Well, yeah, you know how you wake up and don't do anything, but babe still makes me feel beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> I've just been working all day, you guys. She's happy I'm happy. Yeah, I'm trying to finish one chapter before I go pick these kids up. One chapter. Just trying to get it out of the way. Trying to write it a little bit every day to get this work done, you know. And I'm happy that he's letting me write today. Yeah. Letting you write? Mm-hmm. Because he's busy <laughs> on his making his beat, so I'm busy writing my books. And then I'm about to be busy editing. All right, Tim, we love y'all. We'll catch y'all on the next one. Like I said, we might go to Monday to Wednesday. Monday to Wednesday. I don't know yet. I don't know. I'm sure you don't want to, do you? No. It don't matter. We'll see what happens. Tim, we, ain't really, we, don't really, we don't really do nothing. Well, thank you for watching us. Yeah, thank you for watching us. On this crazy journey yeah. called life. So, yeah. I'm pinching her, y'all. He's pinching my behind. Really? Why would you pinch my behind? Anyway, we'll catch y'all on the next one. It's time to go. Do this.